Uh, there's a look at West Topeka. Cars zipping on I-70 at normal speeds. Looking off toward the 470 Loop in Wanamaker. Uh, a little bit of action happening out there even before 5 o'clock. And there's downtown. We have good visibility. No fog, no precipitation. Fairly light wind, and we do have cold air, though. This is going to be about the seventh time that we've had a morning below 10 degrees officially. It's not as cold as it was, though, back on January 30th when we had a three below. So it's nine above, feels like we're below zero, and the winds at 10 miles per hour or less, but we do have wind chills running to near 15 below. So anywhere from Republic County all the way to Donovan County, hugging that Nebraska line, that's where we have our wind chill advisory through 8 o'clock. And again, some schools are closed, especially if kids have to wait a long time or walk a long distance to school, but a lot of schools are certainly going today. So there's your eight below in Kansas City for a feels like number. The 12 below, Marysville, Sabetha to Hiawatha. Bigger problems happening there with single digit temps almost all over the place, down toward Burlington and also the Garnett area, maybe a little bit higher. How about a 59 in Atlanta and New Orleans? The same thing, but it drops off sharply. 25 Memphis, 14 in St. Louis, a goose egg in Omaha, and the coldest of air is near Williston. And Bismarck right now, close to 20 and 25 below. And this is pretty cold out towards Seattle, too, getting another shot of snow in the Pacific Northwest. But look at our nice clear sky right through the nation's breadbasket here, right in the heartland. And it should be a very pretty day. Nothing but sunshine throughout. And it looks like we'll start picking up a few clouds on Saturday. And there might be a little impact from that West Coast storm on Sunday. A little disturbance could kind of feed off of that to kick off some widely scattered light snow on Sunday. But we're looking at a light southeasterly breeze that tries to develop in the overnight after our northwest wind today and then a stronger southeast wind running through Saturday. So it's going to be breezy and even though temperatures are going to go from the 20s today into the 30s tomorrow, it's still going to feel very chilly with that wind. And then getting into Sunday, that's when we have that little system pass by and behind that, it's right back to a northwesterly wind direction. So as far as sunshine goes, we have that today, a clear sky tonight. So very little happening here with our future track. And then once we get into Saturday, we'll have a few passing clouds through the day that kind of sweep on through. But I still think partly cloudy to mostly sunny. But on Sunday, we'll certainly have more clouds. And Monday into Tuesday is when the West Coast system gets here. So 25 today. We might dip down into the single digits for one more night and then a 36 tomorrow. On Sunday, the chance for brief morning snow. But it is Monday when we could have rain initially with highs in the upper 30s. And then we'll gradually start getting colder. That could go to mix and snow into Monday night. So if there's going to be any more delays or problems, it would be Tuesday morning of next week. And then we go Wednesday and Thursday with mid and upper 30s as the big chill continues for February. This is KSNT News on a Friday morning. Have a good day and a great weekend.